Hi, this is Mrs. Kidman, and in this video, we're going to be discussing how we go from standard form to factored form of quadratic equations. Now, the beautiful thing about going standard form to factored form is actually it's pretty straightforward. To go, all we got to do is factor our polynomials. How awesome is that? So we learned how to do this in chapter two. We're going to keep doing it. Here I've got three terms, so I'm going to use my x method. And I want two numbers that multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 3. So multiply to negative 18, add to negative 3. Those numbers are going to be a negative 6 and a positive 3. So then when we're writing this out in factored form, what I'm going to do is put my y equals x minus 6 and x plus 3. It's just as simple as that. We are just going to factor our polynomials and move forward. So let's take a look at this next one. We're going to do the same sort of thing. So in this case, we can factor it this way. We can say, okay, does three, negative 10, and negative eight have a common factor? No. So I'm gonna use my X method. I'm gonna multiply these. I get negative 24. So I want two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add to a negative 10. And I'm gonna rack my brain, try to figure out those numbers, and I come up with a negative 12 and a two. Negative 12 times two equals negative 24, and negative 12 plus two equals negative 10. But I'm not going to stop there. Because I had to multiply these by 3, I actually have to divide both of these by 3 as well. And this is going to simplify down to negative 4. And this is going to stay as 2 thirds. So then as we're writing our polynomial here, or our quadratic equation, we have y equals x minus 4. And then we have our 3x plus 2. And we can leave it that way. There are things that we can try to factor out. If we wanted to get that 3 out front, we could factor a 3 out of this component here and rewrite it, but we don't have to. So it's up to you. We can factor it out and get y equals 3 times x plus 2 thirds times x minus 4. But to be honest, I wouldn't do that. I would just stick with this one right here. So let's take a look at this next one. I want you to try to do this next example. We'll call it example number 3. I want you to try to do it all on your own. So go ahead, take a second, pause the video, work out the problem when you've finished, come back and check your solution to see if you were able to go from standard form to vertex form correctly. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to go over this one. So as we set this up, we want to factor it and we get, we put our six. So I want two numbers that multiply to six and add to five. Well, those two numbers are going to be a positive two and a positive three. So I'm going to write them down in this factored form right here with x plus two times x plus three. Now, the biggest thing you want to make sure is remember, these are equations. So we have to have an equal sign and say that it equals y. If we only have our factored form here, if we didn't write that, that would not be an equation. That would just be a factored polynomial. And we are looking for rewriting the whole equation. So we want to include that y equals. Okay, the last example that we are going to go over all together is going to be this one over here. So remember when we factor, we follow those three rules. The first thing we have to do is look for our greatest common factor, and then we count our terms, right? And then make sure that we factor completely. So let's look at this one and walk through our steps of factoring. So as we are looking at this first one, I noticed that 3, 30, and 63 all have a common factor and that factor is three. So I'm actually gonna factor my three out before I even move forward. If I factor out of three, I get x squared. If I factor three out of 30, I'm going to get 10x. And if I factor a three out of 63, I'm gonna get a 21. There we go. And so then all I need to do is factor this portion right here. So let's take a look and factor that. So I get y equals three. And then we're going to figure out what we need to factor. Let me draw my x. I want two numbers that multiply to 21 and add to 10. Well, those numbers are going to be 7 and 3. So then I get x plus 7 and x plus 3. And look at that. This is vertex form. So that's how we would go from one form. There are not vertex form. That's called factored form. Wow. That is how we go from standard form to factored form is all we got to do is factor our polynomial.